because I don't be trusting people in America. <laughs> it's safe, it's safe. Yo, what's up? I'm Serato. I'm a sneaker customizer for the stars. I work with everyone from actors to athletes, celebrities, and influencers. So today we're making shoes for Shaq Diesel, Shaq this, Big Aristotle, Shaquille O'Neal, man. You already know who he is, but if you don't, dude is literally an NBA legend, one of the most dominant to ever play the game. Off the court, Shaq starred in a bunch of movies, and now he's a DJ touring the country. And of course, you've seen him on TV talking hoops on TNT. For a personality this big, we gotta make some special kicks. Jack Diesel, what's going on? Hey, I saw those shoes you made for Sharif and Shakir. I need you to hook me up. Yeah, yeah, we, we can do that, we can do that. What do you want to do? I know you got the Reeboks, right? Yeah, the Reeboks, I'm gonna have my boy send them to you. Just do what you do. Superman in them, something, you know, nothing big. If you make them funky, I'm gonna buy a hundred pair. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll holler at you, LeBron James, Taco Tuesday face looking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, yeah, but yeah, we'll bring them out to you. The shoes we're customizing for Shaq are Reebok NPCs. The thing is, they're like size 22s. I've customized thousands of kicks and these are by far the biggest I've ever worked with. They have a simple clean silhouette with a suede upper and a beige rubber sole. We have a subtle branding on the tongue and side, but nothing too crazy. Reebok always keeps it pretty clean. Since these shoes are suede, they're gonna be a bit tougher to paint, but for Shaq, I just have to make do. All right, so I'm headed to this nice place over here called Our House. Um, we're going to go meet with my guy, Trey. He's going to help me kind of figure out some of these design ideas for these shoes. You know, they're like size 40 or whatever, so we got to figure out exactly what to do with these. I don't really know yet, so um, it's going to be a little interesting, but uh, I think he's going to have some nice input. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's a big Shaq fan, so we'll see what's going on. Yeah. What's up, bro? It's good. How you doing? Not good. I got some shit I gotta holler at you about. What's up? No, I know you're a big Shaq fan and shit, so you know all about Shaq, so I'm trying to figure out, like, what's, like what, what should we really get on there, though? Because, like, you know, you're a man of many names and all types of other shit, so. I would say Shaq Diesel. He, you know, he got a tag yeah, on him, too. Facts, yeah. So that's, that's a big name. I mean, to it's go gotta with. be Shaq Diesel. It's gotta be something Superman related, too, obviously, because that's, like, his whole thing, too. Right. He's got so many nicknames, like, I don't, I don't even know, like, like, you should probably just Google him for real, like. You got the big Shaq this, the big Cac this. Osama bin Shaq, no way. Let's stick with these though, bro. Let's stick with Shaq these though. We're gonna stick with the originals, okay? We're not gonna put no Osama bin Laden down here or nothing like that, okay? We're good. They definitely didn't come with a shoebox though, so I don't really know what to do with that. I'm gonna figure out something to put them in. I don't really know. Uh, um, mechanical T box? That'd be hard. Like, we could just put something on the top of it, they, you know, like a Superman logo or like something like that on it. And you kind of designed the, um, the T box too. I want to see what sound we got when we, when, we, when we get in here, but yeah, I mean, if I can do a whole design on it, that'd be cool, but I mean, if not, just something on the top would be nice yeah. just to add that in there and then try to find some foam or something to put in it, maybe. I don't really know. Yeah, something, something to like up the, you know, presentation. Yeah, you can't just give them like a plain, a plain two box. Yeah, no. Yeah, a little, little pizzazz into it, just a little. Nah, it's it's a, a little, little sauce, a little sauce. All right, bro. I appreciate you, you know, coming over here, you know, throw some ideas at me or whatever, but I'm trying to eat this pizza. What's up? All right, bro. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. Hold on, hold on. Dang. That's good. We gonna work with it, bro. <laughs> We gonna work with it. Trash at 2K and pizza? Wow. Um, so you guys know how I do. You know, when I meet these people, I gotta get, um, especially this Hall of Fame, all time great people out here. I gotta get a signed memorabilia or something for the Hall of Fame in the studio wall. So I'm over here at nine out of 10. I'm gonna try to grab a jersey real quick. Make sure they got me an O'Neal jersey and uh, make sure you have something to sign when we get down there. Ooh, saucy. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Just got back with the shoes for real. Got everything we needed, ran all the errands, uh, got everything taken care of, but it's 8 p.m. right now, so we're definitely on a time crunch again. Um, so we gotta get in here, gotta get to this because we got an early flight tomorrow down to Orlando so we can drop these off to the big man himself. Let's get to it. All right, so we just got all the taping done. Uh, for the most part, I might have to mask some other stuff later once we get these first couple of layers of paint down. Time to go ahead and do these stencils, figure out what we gotta put where, so resize everything, make sure it fits on the shoe, and go from there. Looks shagtastic. So first thing I gotta do is I'm gonna cut these up, and then uh, whatever needs to go down on the shoe to start with, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then uh, I'll do my background 
colorways and tie everything together. All right, so the stencils are down, so it's time to start laying down this color. All right, so I got down the base layers, you know, I did our red and our black colorways, you know, traditional Superman stuff. Um, so I actually added a black shadow pattern in here uh, using another handmade stencil that's gonna mimic the, you know, the cape flowing kind of pattern, you know, that's, you know, real Superman. So now I'm just gonna go back in, do some more work on these logos on the inside, uh, and then start on my Superman logo. This way made us take way longer than I thought, but I got one more light thing to do, add a little bit of lightning, and then I gotta get up out of here to catch this flight to Orlando. Since these are for Shaq, I wanna do something extra to take the shoebox to the next level. So I'm headed to Home Depot to see if there's anything in there that can hold a size 22. Where the real toolbox is at? In the cut though. In the cut. This is exactly what I wanted. And they had it. Home Depot's clutch. All right, six o'clock in the morning. Finally, just finished these up. So. Really not gonna have any time to get any sleep, so I guess it's just time to go ahead and get ready to go to Visa Shack. So for Shaq's shoes, we start with a nice red, blue, and black background to mimic the Superman fit. Then we threw the Superman logo on the outsoles. Of course, we had to have the classic Reebok Shaq logo and the DJ Diesel on the insides. We threw a couple personal touches on the toes, and of course, his nickname, the Big Shaqtus. Then we had to find something to put these bad boys in because they're size 22. So we grabbed a heavy duty toolbox, threw some Shaq logos on there, and got my man a nice oversized tag so you know that they're for a big fella and nobody else. After all that, we finally got out to Shaq's crib. It's time to see if the big man approves. What's going on? What up, Corey? Not a whole lot. Hey, man. I said, I said, meet me at the house. Don't just bust in the house, bust in the door. <laughs> I think someone let us in. I'm not sure. Uh, damn, but... dog, you ain't gonna knock. <laughs> <laughs> Which door? I don't even know. What's we happening? We got something for you, though. What got you got for me? You. you know. Man, still has to get some steel. That's mine? <laughs> That's you. I don't be trusting people in America. <laughs> it's safe, it's safe. Oh, damn. You made these? Yes, sir. Oh, these things are cold right here. How you do this? And how long it take you to do this? Probably five, six hours, something like that, you know, straight up if we were just doing it. But I tried to figure out something that you could do, you know, because I didn't know exactly what you wanted. But, you know, usually, you know, until the, until the guys tell me that they want, you know, the whole accolade shoe and, you know, the rings and all that stuff, you know, I usually try not to do that, you know, just off the rip because that's kind of, you know, generic for, you know, what everybody would probably would go to first. So I figured Superman, you got to go with that. And you got to get a DJ Diesel on there because, you know, I figured these would be perfect, DJ, you know, DJ wear. So just threw that on there and then just some signature, you know, kind of my style touches, but that's about it. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's waterproof, so you're good to go. Too bad I ain't gonna ever wear them, though. <laughs> no? No, why? Uh, that's how fresh they are. <laughs> See, everybody says that, but that defeats yeah, the purpose. You gotta no, wear it. No, because then somebody step on them, you'd be ready, you'd be ready to throw some bowls. I'm more than 10 pair a year now. Okay. All right. That's fine with me. So I got the DJ Diesel, I need some shacks. Give me some, you know what? Give me some. I know what I want. Give me one with Shaq and Kobe on it, okay. Shaq and Penny, and Shaq and D-Way, and Shaq and LeBron, all the legends I play with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need a favor, though. Yeah. I brought these. Oh, that's going to cost you 500 a piece. <laughs> Got them. Oh, hey. Got them. Thank you, sir. I'm going to get these all put together in the, for, the, for, the, for the Hall of Fame wall. We just finished up. It's another one down. Shaq liked it. Catch us out on TNT a little bit later this year. It's going to be crazy, but Back to Baltimore.
You know my vibe. It's over time. Oh, I didn't see you there. My fault. I was just getting a little jiggy. <laughs> Check out the rest of the videos right here and subscribe. Do that for us. Come on. We growing. We do this for y'all.